going to make molds of these parts. The reason we're going to make molds is because unlike something simple, um, if you consider a heel guard in the case of, let's say, this example, those are just bends. And you can take a copy off of either side of that bend, and if you sort of, you know, set them next to each other, it's, they're going to be the same. So you can use the part as the mold because it's a simple enough shape. But you can see that you couldn't take a mold off of this and use it as a part. For starters, the outside of the part wouldn't have the right finish on it. It'd be oversized, you know, it just isn't going to work that way. So what we're going to do is make molds of these that you guys can then turn around and, you know, the inside of the mold will represent the outside of the part. Whatever you lay in and pull out will have a nice finish on the exposed part, right? So what we're going to do, though, is we're going to make it simpler on ourselves, and we're going to use filler mixed into the epoxy to make a paste, and we're going to fill all these tricky spots and just eliminate them off of the surface, right? So that'll be filled with filler, and then fiberglass will go over the rest of it, and once it's all cured and you pull it off, your mold will have a positive of that. Oh, so your part will look exactly like this when you're done. What you want is you want it to completely conform to that shape. That's all you're after. Okay, so now what you're going to do is you're going to paint on a layer of epoxy. Now the process he's doing right now is exactly the same as if he was if that was his mold and he's making any other, you know, he's just happening to use fiberglass instead of carbon. Okay, so take your first piece, um, okay, and I would just lay it right on there like you were about to. Now, in this case, it's a relatively simple piece. Don't even touch it. Now you want to not be too generous with the epoxy. Um, but now you're, now you, okay, this is called wetting out. It's, it's saturating, and the nice thing about working with fiberglass is, is there any question anybody have about where it's wetted out and where it's not? <laughs> you can totally see that, for instance, that's a little dry there, because it's not quite completely cleared. Mm -hmm. All right, so, wet it out. <laughs> now, what you're going to see is a bunch of problems about to start happening, and why is that? What's going to happen when he tries to get one side of this to go like this, it's the other pull. side of it to go like that? What's going to happen to the tip? It's going to get a full pitch. pitch. It's not gonna. It's not gonna stay attached. So the infamous relief cutting scissors come out, and you make that problem go away. Now watch this. Oops. Well, who cares? Because you're gonna. That's gonna drop down. That's gonna drop down. Now make that air bubble go away by painting out. Problem. And then it's you know lather, rinse, repeat. This stuff, when this stuff gets crunchy, it's a lot harder to cut, obviously. So trimming it now, even if you're not going to pull it out now, just makes life much, much simpler. All right, okay, so you want to try to get that out of there. <laughs> There's a, basically a seal between there, right? And what you're going to do is try to break that seal. You can also flex the part, right, to just twist it, and it'll, you'll hear it. Right? When you've seen me say the popping of the parts, yeah. it's that noise, it's like... And then try to come up under that one too. That one might be the area you try to get some force going under. Now the other thing, this thing's not very strong. You can tell by the corners that I've snapped off of by doing that. Um, did you get under there? Okay, so... Right? Now pry it out. And there is your SV. Uh, Side panel, mold, complete with a plug. Awesome. perfect little doohickeys. Right. Yeah, so ta da, one mold. Awesome. <laughs>